Hey everyone, Chris Jokinki back with another update video. This time on my McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 spawn figure. And, and obviously you can see here for first what I did was I repainted his eyes. Now, yes, I'll admit my painting skills aren't the best because I don't really have a steady hand. But if you remember in my review of this figure, I did say that I really did not like how the eyes were painted. It was like, looked like he was like squinting and I didn't like that. So <clears throat> I just took, I just painted the eyes black. Then I put, painted some white on it, then painted green on it. And, and I also used the sealant. Again, it's not the greatest, but you know, it looks a whole lot better than how they did before. And if you see, I gave him Bloodshots' rifle. And I did the torso mod, so now he can bend in a whole lot more now. Now, unfortunately, I did kind of screw up on the upper torso. I mean, it stays on, but it's a bit loose now. So yeah, that's a shame. But yeah, at least I can still give him, give him some cool poses. And of course, I did the thigh swivel mod on this guy. And I decided to make a little groove bigger on, or a big, a groove on his leg armor so he could actually move the foot up a bit more. It's nothing too crazy, but you know, at least he could have more movement now. Now, I was actually planning on getting, getting him a custom cape because if, you know, I saw VAD Toys' video on this figure, and he had a custom cape put in. So I did cut off the cape, this old plastic one, but think, but I decided, you know what, no. I mean, it would look cool, but I decided against it, so I just glued this cape back on. But yeah, um... <clears throat> and as you can see in the background, I got a PS5. But yeah, this figure... Oh, I also did the head mod where he could look a whole lot more up now. And even look a whole lot more down. Though, you can see I actually had to use hot glue because I was playing it. Because I did put a groove here, but it made the head much more loose. So, I put hot glue there. The groove in the back was still good. So, I mean, the head still stays on. But, yeah, um... Yeah, it's not as loose as the uh, as the upper torso, but still. But yeah, this spot figure is fantastic. Even though I prefer his classic look, it's still a great figure. And yes, I do. I am aware that there's a classic spawn that's from Mortal Kombat 11 that's been released already, but that reuses the uh, it reuses the the. Uh, gauntlet on the right arm and this big boot piece on his le right leg i'm not really a fan of that so who knows maybe McC i mean and i also know there's a kickstarter classic spawn but that thing is expensive so i'm not gonna get that but i am gonna wait till they actually release a, an, a, an actual classic spawn you know without the gauntlet or boot piece but if not, then, well, this figure is still fantastic. <clears throat> but yeah, I figured I, uh, figured I, um, show you what I did. And yes, I did kind of screw something up. I am downloading something though. Just letting you know what's going, why you're hearing those sounds. But yeah, this figure, you know, with the mods I made is a whole lot better now. Oh, though I, I'm still having trouble trying to get this to actually stay tightly in his hand. I mean, I did use the heat gun to kind of bring his hand back to his original back to his original position so he could hold the axe. And it did work for a while, but yeah, you see that? It's just... It's not the axe. It's the hand itself. So I honestly don't know what to do to fix this issue, but... 
for now, it's still a great figure. With the mods I made, it is a huge improvement. And yes, I am aware there's a spawn munitions pack from the McFron's toy store. But unfortunately, it's sold out. At least, I think it's sold out. Or maybe it restocked. But, <clears throat> but still. I'm happy with this figure. Very happy. And, yeah. Really great figure. But anyway, that's it. See you all next time.